Lawrence Public Schools uses WebEx Teams to help organize and communicate with large groups of people. Creating breakout groups in WebEx Teams can be done easily by creating spaces within Teams. First, you will need to make sure you have WebEx Teams downloaded to your computer. You can find it in Manager. Once you have signed in using your district email address, you can begin creating your Teams. On the left sidebar, you will find the Teams icon. Click it. Here, you will find all of the teams you have created and are a part of. Click on the plus icon to create a new team. The team is your largest group, your full class, for example. Give your team a name and then add the participants. WebEx Teams will use the USD 497 directory to autofill names. If you accidentally choose the wrong name, you can hover over the circle icon to remove them. Once you have all of your team members, click Create. The team creator is the default moderator. You can add moderators at any time. Moderators can start meetings, create spaces, and add team members. Your team starts with a general space. This is where you can share information with everyone in the team. To create small groups or breakout spaces, click the Spaces tab and then the plus icon next to New Space. Name your space. This can be as general or specific as you want. Then create as many spaces as you want. Next, you will add team members to those spaces. Click the People tab within the space. Then use the plus icon to add people from the team to the space. You can now send messages to the space. Only the people within that space will see those messages. If you want to send messages to the entire team, use the general space. When you want to schedule a meeting for your spaces, click the Schedule tab. Then click the plus icon to schedule a meeting. Your Google Calendar will open. You should see the people from the space already invited. Do not add video conferencing. The video is a part of Teams. Using WebEx meetings and Teams in the same meeting can cause functionality issues. You can also set up a repeating meeting. Send the meeting invitation if you want it to appear in the invitee's email as well as Teams. Back in the Teams app, the meeting will show up in the Schedule tab. When it is time, click the green button to start the meeting. You can also start an instant meeting by clicking the Meet button. Meeting chats will appear in the space and be saved there. When you record your meeting, it will appear in the chat thread. You will also get an email letting you know that it is available. And, like all recorded meetings, it will be available in your USD497webex.com account. Remember, the longer the meeting, the longer it will take to appear. When you are ready to use breakout spaces, each space can meet individually. You can join them in their space as they are working. When you are ready to call everyone back together, simply type a message in the general space and everyone will be notified. As always, call the help desk if you have any questions.